Chicago and the Philippines. A comprehensive review of the week's special community events, featuring many exciting personalities handled by the most professional Chicago Philippine Reports TV staff. Good afternoon and welcome to the Chicago Philippine Reports TV, still the number one Filipino show in the Midwest. I'm Gurley Pascual. Welcome to our show. Today we have all the top stories from the Philippines. We also have what's happening in our own Filipino-American community of Chicago. We have interesting interviews led by our very own executive producer, Miss Veronica Layton. We have Bridget Cotero Carino. All these are coming up and more. Afterward from our sponsors, please stay with us. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 901-245-4874. That's 901-245-4874. 901-245-4874. That's 901-245-4874. Images of a mall security guard throwing a helpless puppy from an overpass along North Avenue in Quezon City went viral online. The guard was trying to drive away vendors from the overpass. One of them was a child who owned the puppy. Masakit po kasi po, hiningay po namin yung para. Minipilihan po po namin ng gatas yung mam eh. Tapos ganun lang pala po mangyayari. Kinuha niya po, sinakal niya po, tapos sinagis po na parang bato lang sa baba. A concerned citizen tried to give first aid to the puppy, but they did not survive the five meter drop. Marami din po ang tao na uh, nasyak. So ako din po nasyak. Iniisip ko that time na kawawa yung aso if masagasaan pa. 2 to 3 minutes ko po siyang uh, kinocompress doon sa chest part mm -hmm. na para maging uh, conscious yung puppy kaso mm -hmm. wala. Netizens and animal welfare groups were furious over the incident. The group Animal Kingdom Foundation will file a complaint against the guard for violating the Animal Welfare Act. Imprisonment po ito ng up to 2 years and or fine not exceeding 100,000 pesos. The Philippine Animal Welfare Society, or POS, will file a similar complaint. It also plans to meet with the officials of the mall, where the guard works. It's a position of power. Meron niyang barel, meron niya ano, so baka, baka he needs to have a psychological evaluation uh, para to hold that job. Dahil hindi talaga siya nagpakita ng tolerance eh. But the mall already fired the guard. He is also banned from seeking employment in all of its branches. It also called on the security agency to investigate the offender. Social Welfare Secretary Rex Gachalian said they will provide counseling to the puppy's owner to cope with the traumatic experience. Asian markets traded mixed on Wednesday, while the dollar fell to three-month lows ahead of a U.S. inflation report that's expected to show further easing but not enough to prevent the Fed from hiking later this month. Hong Kong stocks getting a bit of support from data showing strong credit expansion in China, while markets in Tokyo slipped as core machinery orders, a leading indicator of capital spending, contracted nearly 9% in May. Here at home, Philippine shares gained over 1%, back above 6,400, supported by net foreign buying of about $1.3 billion. 
Despite today's jump, Trading Edge's Ron Akoba expects the market to continue trading within a tight range. The market has just been consolidating within a, within a tight range. Uh -huh. um, and, and I continue to expect the same. Um, for the for for the market, of course, the major catalyst of market movements remains to be the monetary monetary environment in the in the U.S. In corporate stories, a second generation Nang takes over the board of Asia United Bank. Jonathan Nang was elected chairman of the board, taking over from Abraham Ko, who was elected vice chairman. The 52-year-old Jonathan is the second of three sons of Rabisco and AUB founder Jacinto Nang. He was a member of AUB's board from 1998 to 2016. He's currently vice chairman of Rabisco and holds a board seat at Pico de Loro, among others. AUB is one of two local commercial banks licensed during the 1997 Asian financial crisis. Meanwhile, Double Dragon's Hotel 101 brand partners with a luxury real estate agent of top auction house Christie's as its exclusive master sales agent for its first overseas project, the Hotel 101 Niseko. Hotel 101 Niseko is expected to generate 7.12 billion pesos in sales once completed by 2025. And finally, Philippine Nickel Industry Association and Global Fair Nickel President Dante Bravo says an earnings recession may be inevitable given weaker-than-expected China recovery and an oversupply from Indonesia. He says the challenge now is to attract foreign investments that will set up value-adding processing plants in the country. Fun in the Philippines. Do you need to get your hands on some extra money right now? Maybe twenty five thousand or more? If you're a homeowner, now is a perfect time to get cash out while homes in many neighborhoods like yours have gone up in value. You can use the money for anything. It's yours. You can buy an investment property, pay for college, pay off higher interest debt, or make home improvements. A cash out refinance is the perfect solution to get the cash you need. If you need 25,000, 50,000, or even 100,000, now's the time. Home values are up and so is your equity. We offer you a way to use it. No need to sell your home or use your savings. Call New American Funding now and speak to a cash out refi specialist and see how much cash out you can get. Call New American Funding at 855-332-3929. That's 855-332-3929. Call 855-332-3929. Via Times, vital news, vibrant views for the Filipino-Asian communities in Chicago. Via Times, for your most interesting and exciting reading and your party coverages. Via Times has very interesting columnists. You name it, Via Times has it. Law, Filipino news, dentistry, immigration, humor, serious opinions, health, beauty, mysticism, bata corner, showbiz, and intelligent written editorials. Call Via Times at 773-866-0811. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat and welcome to Veronica segment of the show. Today, I have a very interesting, very exciting personality, and he, I know he doesn't need any more introduction, further introduction, because he is really well known in this community, very popular, and also, he used to be uh, well, one of the hosts in this show. Help me welcome Mr. Nick Vera Perez. Hi, Nick, how are you? Welcome to our show. Hi, maraming maraming salamat, Tito Vero. Good afternoon sa lahat ng mga nanonood or good morning. Anong time ba? <laughs> Nawawala. Maraming maraming salamat for having me here. Nice to see All you. All right, very good. I'm really honored that uh, uh, you're here um, on our show. And uh, we're going to be talking a lot of things. 
after, uh, you know, uh, I, there is a lot of changes and developments and, and uh, in uh, Nick Benapere's life, and we have to catch up. Okay, first thing, Nick, uh, here are some things that our viewing audience have to know about you. Lately, Nick has uh, been known, I mean, Rain has been crowned or he's been, he's been nominated as, or uh, he, I think he has won the Mr. USA United Nations 23. And congratulations, Nick. Thank you. And Thank you. Talking Thank about that. And he is also about to finish his doctorate degree in medicine. My God, in six to eight weeks, <laughs> will six to eight months. Be a doctor, Nick? Wow. Six to eight months. I wow. believe it. This guy is uh, really something else. And and he is about to release his sixth album next year, which is uh, next year is 2024. And uh, next album, he will also be talking about that in this interview. First things first. And... Uh, Nick, welcome to our show, and I'm really very happy because I want to let our viewers know that you're one of my favorite uh, people here in this uh, community. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank How you. Yes, a public confession. Okay, Nick. <laughs> first, first things first. What is this, Mister um, United Nations uh, title that you have? Uh, you have won. Um, it is actually a, a pageantry that believes in um, growth of young people, believes in tourism, and believes in charity. Um, it has been there for so many years, and this is the first time they're sending an Asian to, um, to compete as the USA representative. So it is a huge honor. It is the most extreme relevant uh, pageant to join. Um, and I think it has served its purpose uh, for so many years. And um, preparing to go is not easy. As, as you can see, um, there are other contestants around the world and it's going to be in India, September 25 to 30. So I'm, I'm planning to fly between September 25 or 26 because for the it, it's a joint uh, United Nations pageants. It's not just Mister. So, uh, but for the Mister, it's on uh, September twenty-seven to thirty. So, uh, wish everybody would support Team USA, but really also Team Philippines, right? <laughs> All together. Wow, my God, what a big title, Nick! Yes. How were you yes. able to get connected with the people? Uh, who are organizing this kind of pageant? <clears throat> there are some questions they will ask you, and it's like a form of essay, and your essay will be judged. And um, once you get to win it, then you, you are chosen. And then there are some registration, of course, that's happening. And along the way, um, they really have to scout or screen uh, who is uh, relevant and reliable to join the competition. So really deep inside me, it's also a bucket list. And uh, at the same time, it's like, let me do this uh, for an experience. And at the same time, able to actually uh, multiply my legacy, which is helping others so you can help others, help others more. So it's more like a ripple effect. So that was my platform. So they liked it and uh, they let me join in. So hopefully we can we can win it. Wow. God, what can I say? I'm <laughs> tongue-tied and cool. that's a really big award and congratulations to you. And I'm looking forward to to your coronation. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Let's talk about this uh, fantastic uh, degree that uh, you're taking right now, and that's uh, going to give you a, um, 
doctorate title my upon graduation uh, yes. can you tell, tell us about this it is a nursing ultimate degree as you can see there's bachelor's associates oh no no associates and then bachelor's and then master's and then phd or dnp which is doctorate of nursing practice now the only difference between the two phd is more on research and then the dnp or doctorate of nursing practice is more on clinical um both are terminal degrees in nursing meaning it's the highest you cannot go anywhere after that and i am six to eight months away from finishing it so as you can see i'm smiling but really at the back of my face i'm struggling because as as we are finishing the the subjects it, they all get tougher you know and there's just too much demands when it comes to time reading and submission of projects here and there and that's the hardest part of it i think what dnp is teaching us is how to be disciplined all throughout and how to be consistent because those two are very um like the highest components to finish this when you don't have those two it is really almost impossible to get them wow nick at the age at young age of 50 you'll be a doctor i cannot believe it wait wait who's 50 who who's 50 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I'm 50. <laughs> yes, I'm turning 50. That's, still, uh, that's very young, 51 or 52. <laughs> Actually, Mami Vero, it's it's my bucket list also. My bucket list, I have um I want to go to Maldives. I want to I want to finish my doctorate degree when I turn 50. I want to do one sensible pageant. And of all the pageants, United Nations is the most sensible to me because of the charity part. And I'm glad to be able to do all of these before, like when I reach my 50, you know, I, I'm glad to, to be able to hit all of them, except for the Maldives, maybe someday soon. <laughs> when you reach your 50s, uh, oh, I thought you were already, you've already reached your 50s. At the end? Not yet, not yet. This October, I'll be. Oh, wow. There's something else I'm telling you. Um, Nick, I, what else do you need to have in your life after that? Okay, so, uh, well, another congratulations. And Thank you. So, and good luck um, to your studies. And, um, well, I know that you're going to, to make it with flying colors. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Mommy B. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, you're a very, very smart person. Okay, now, um, next in this interview is about this recording of, um, well, your music <laughs> recording. How, how is this? How is how's, how's this, this been going? Um, the goal was to finish... 10 albums as I was contracted to do uh, before I turned 50. But it, it, will, it would be impossible because although we tried two albums every year, pandemic, during pandemic, but 10 albums would leave the other albums released unpromoted. So what we did, we paused a little in 2023, but we are working on album number six due to be released next year, 24. So as you can see, all my albums do not have any um, music videos because they will start doing music videos after all albums are out so that the songs would linger longer. That was the marketing strategy. So it, it's like taking, taking it slow, taking it slow, yes. Well, uh, when will this happen? I mean... Album number six will be released uh, sometime October next year. Um, it's a different kind of album. As you can see, all the albums are concentrated, right? Mm -hmm. Mami, um, album one is a, all about, it's a pop ballad all about our lives. Um, inspirations, motivations to stand up again. That's album number one. Album number two was random. It's all about love. It's all about... Mm -hmm. 
um, Friendship, album number two. Album number three was Christmas, All Christmas. Album number four was OPM, Original Filipino Music. Album number five was Gospel. And this coming album is Dance. So maybe Chicago Dance Power can use the songs for swing and all that. <laughs> yes. For sure. Yeah, it's I'm all dance. You, that sounds so exciting. Yes, and yes. While you're here, um, can I request a sample of uh, of your, not dancing right now. I know you've been <laughs> a good dancer. Of your, so, I mean, one of your songs, you, I know also you're a, you've been a very good singer. The, the 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 problem with with um with this I I noticed this and I asked the maker, uh, the Zoom do not have the compatibility with the microphone and the sound. So when oh, someone yeah. sings live, they they come out to them distorted. So I would I, suggest, yeah, I would suggest I going to YouTube. Yeah, going to YouTube. I you understand could... that. Yeah, very good. So okay, with all your successes in life. Um, with your, I mean, uh, with your, with your upcoming degree, MD degree, and um, also with your success in music, uh, with uh, singing that uh, you really love. I know you really love to sing, and so many fans out there are always waiting for you to sing. Um, uh, Nick, uh, also with this, um, with this new title. Can you please uh, tell our viewing audience um, some, uh, I mean, some good words that you can tell them to to follow your footsteps? Yes, um, there are so many advices that you can hear from so many self help books or people who are so inspired that they deliver messages right in front of your social media, on your phone, text messages. But from me as your current Mr. USA United Nations 2023, I would like to deal on three things. Number one, stay kind at all times. Because when you're kind, you are actually empathetic. Because when you are empathetic and kind, that means you have controlled the very first thing that most people think is the way to go. No, primal urges. When I say primal urges, these are our very own animal instincts, which have the tendency to fight back. When somebody hurts you, you try to retaliate, you try to respond back, don't do that. Control that because our society does not need that at this time. As society needed more kindness, more empathy, so that everyone can get along better. That was my first message. My second message is, do not forget to take very good care of yourselves and then each other, because no one else would do that but us. And number three, whatever you do, regardless of how hard life becomes or how many detractors would try to ruin your journey, always be focused, consistent, and above all, dreaming and doing some actions on your dreams. Otherwise, they're just dreams. Okay. There you go. Might be nightmares too. <laughs> <laughs> My nightmares, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Wow, Nick. Those are good the words of wisdom. And um okay, you can also be a pastor one of these days. <laughs> I know. I almost I almost became a priest. Oh, you did? Yes, yes. I was so close to you know, everybody at one point in their lives. We, we, we try to look back at everything, like why is the world like this and why is everybody fighting? And at that point, I think before pandemic, actually, but like seven years ago, Mommy V, I really was contemplating on just shining away from all of this and just staying where I can be of help to people who have emotional imbalances so I can give them advices, pull them out of their darkness, and then, this is a joke now, and then suddenly someone said to me, but if you're a priest and you are in a convent or in a, in a church, a lot of demons actually lives there. And then I got scared, so I said, no, I won't. <laughs> well, no, that was Nick, a joke part. Um, that was a joke part. 
you could have been the handsomest priest uh, uh, <laughs> if you pursued being a priest. <laughs> you know, you, you know, my father, my father is a late pastor. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. I so. know. Yes. Okay. I don't yes. know. I don't know, Mommy V. It it really gives me a sense of, of of light, a sense of of ease. You know, whenever I'm able to see someone um, at peace after I tell them something, even with my patients as a nurse or friends in my circle or people I meet. You know, when they're down. Sometimes I would just have to look at them and listen to them, and and then they calm down after that. It gives me peace. Wow, really, Nick. I'm telling you, I I really salute you. Do you need to get your hands on some extra money right now? Maybe 25000 or more? If you're a homeowner, now is a perfect time to get cash out, while homes in many neighborhoods like yours have gone up in value. You can use the money for anything. It's yours. You can buy an investment property, pay for college, pay off higher interest debt, or make home improvements. A cash out refinance is the perfect solution to get the cash you need. If you need 25,000, 50,000, or even 100,000, now's the time. Home values are up and so is your equity. We offer you a way to use it. No need to sell your home or use your savings. Call New American Funding now and speak to a cash out refi specialist and see how much cash out you can get. Call New American Funding at 855 332 3929. That's 855 332 3929. Call 855 332 3929. Hello, Senor and welcome to Veronica's segment of the show. Today, I have a very interesting and exciting personality, a community leader, um, and um, she is here to talk to us about a project. Of, um, in one of our involvements in the community. She will be talking to us about um, some kind of a pageantry uh, from her hometown, and uh, it's called Dinad Young. Help me welcome Miss uh, Gemma Ismala. Hi, Gemma, how are you? Hi, hello. Uh... Let me introduce her. Let me do a, a little... Um, <clears throat> mini mini bio of Gemma just uh, briefly she is the founding president advisor of Chicago Nightingale and a co-organizer of Tribu Ilongo and president of the Chicago One World Centennial Alliance Club and board president of Circa Pink that's how busy this lady is aside from being a full-time uh, nurse and uh, she she's also uh, has she has lots of accomplishments uh, in her uh, in her career a nursing career and she can also be talking to us about it. Help me welcome me is Gemma Ismala. Gemma, thank you. Hi, Atifi. Thank you for having me and um, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk about. Um, Tribu Ilongo and the upcoming event on Saturday, uh, Dinagyang sa Chicago. Yes, Dinagyang. What is Dinagyang? So actually, Dinagyang is a, a um, cultural uh, festival in Iloilo, which is similar to what they have in Cebu, which uh, is called Sinulog and um, Ati Atihan of Aklan. So um, what it is, is really, it's a um, a celebration uh, in honor of San, of the infant Jesus, Santo Nino, you know. And um, so every January, this celebration is held and it's huge. It's actually becoming one of the most celebrated festivals in Iloilo. All Ilongos are um, very excited to have this Dinigyang every January. But here in Chicago, because of the weather and so cold in January here, um, we opted to celebrate Dinagyang, uh, not in the month of January, but um, this time after the pandemic, um, we have it in July. I have seen in pictures uh, some of the costumes 
beautiful costumes and headdresses uh, that are used in Dina Giang. Mm -hmm. Why is that uh, pageantry is uh, so beautiful? So actually, um, one of the feature activities for the Dina Giang is um, having our youth members of um, the community of the film community join us um, in learning our Ilongo culture. So we invited them to join what we call the Lin Ai Sanginagyang. Lin Ai means uh, miss or maiden, you know, in English. So um, while this is not a contest, you know, um, but the kids and all of them are teenagers, um, age 13 and we actually have this year we have somebody who's about to turn 13 but she's very much willing to join um so what they do is uh, they will be um uh, parading the tribal costumes that they normally wear in Dinagya, which is really um like a tribal princess you know the outfit of a tribal princess and then they're gonna do sort of like a a fashion parade of that of that costume, and then they're gonna be um, talking about themselves, and um, they will also be doing a native dance in the tune of uh, it's a song. It's an actually an original song. This one for this year, um, they're doing an original song uh, in Ilongo. And so that's something to look forward to. The kids will be doing that. Uh, they're going to have a group dance. And then also they're going to have a, um, a segment where they're going to be wearing their evening gowns and just their streetwear. And uh, really, we will be talking to them and asking them why they want to join or why are they participating in this activity. And the goal is to really just kind of get them engaged get the youth com uh, members of the film community, especially the Ilongo community, uh, be engaged and learn about what Dinagyang is all about. A lot of people is like, what is Dinagyang, you know? So really it's just a, a um, an avenue for all Ilongos to come together while we are, it's not just exclusive to Ilongos. I know that we kind of like, look for those Ilongos here. We want to reunite all the Ilongos, but this, but we welcome everyone to this event. We want to showcase the event to everybody. Wow, there are so many Ilongo, Ilongos that I know here in Chicago. They should be aware of this. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, after the pandemic, I mean, we actually had a huge response in 2018 when we started it. And we followed it with another huge um, event in 2019 and then the pandemic hit. So we kind of paused and this is again, the first time after the pandemic that we are doing the Dinagyang. So um, despite, we are just kind of like mobilizing our group. And so um, we have the momentum going, but we have to do it in J July 1st. I know a lot of people are out because it's summer and it's uh, the 4th of July weekend, but there's still a lot of other um, Filipinos out there and Ilongas out there who are willing to come and join us on Saturday. And uh, where will this be held? <clears throat> so the event will be held at Drear Lane Theater in Oak Brook. And it's going to be from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Saturday. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and uh, what's going to happen? I mean, uh, what is in the program? <clears throat> so actually, we are so fortunate to have um, messages from our um, Ilo, Ilo governor as well as our mayor, Ilo, Ilo mayor. And so they've learned <laughs> about this. And... Um, we also invited the recipients of, because of course in every event, um, should there be any proceeds, and I'm, we're thinking we're gonna have proceeds of the event, the, the recipient, we are partnering with the Chicago Nightingales, which is our non-for-profit partner. And any proceeds from this event will um, benefit the orphanage that the Chicago Nightingales is supporting. And that is the Don Bosco, uh, orphanage in um, Dumangas, Iloilo, and the Santo Nino um, Orphanage in Bacolod. 
Oh, so um, there are how many part participants? Um, all in all. So there are eight Lin Eyes. We have eight Lin Eyes who are participating for this year's uh, Lin Eyes and Ginagyang. Um, the one good thing about the Lin Eye segment also is while we are engaging our youth in this activity, this is also sort of like a scholarship pro program for them um, because at the end of the event, um, we will be giving them some um, scholarship money that they can use for, um, you know, like for their summer camps or something, you know, uh, and they're very excited about that. Wonderful. Right. Wow. Mm -hmm. Really. Um, we consider it's like the project, project. I'll take a lot of people. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, okay. How do you go about in getting all these beautiful costumes? Are they so, like in the past, so we have this is our third year, our third season, right? Um, we were at first we were thinking we're gonna do DIY um a costume. So we actually tried like in our in our first uh, Dinagyang, we have we just kind of like look for individual designers to create the costumes. It's like each parents will just they just go ahead and look for for anyone who can make the, the costume for them. Um, in the second year, we actually really encouraged the moms or the whoever is in charge of the Lin Ai to create their own design. So in that, uh, in the 2019 um, Dina Yang, half of them were made by professionals and half of them were were made by by the by the by here by whoever whoever is in charge of the lanai um here uh, it came out nice but this year we actually kind of like uh, and this is the first time that we did this we um asked a designer ilo ilo to create the um costumes and now that we have this um uh, capability of shipping these costumes here, which we were not very, we did not have that luxury before. Um, or if there was any, it's really, really uh, unreasonable price, you know. But now it's it's a lot more reasonable, and so we had it shipped here, and uh, we we actually have the costumes arrive. Uh, Two days ago so yeah we have the costumes to showcase this saturday wow sounds mm -hmm. very exciting yeah, I... made a designer in iloilo his name is um nonoi haranilia harantilia wow. he's a, a, a he's not a very well-known designer yet i think in iloilo he's just he decided but he's been designing costumes is he coming to Chicago to attend the event? No. No. Okay. Maybe in our, okay. our really to, you know, um, partner with the mm -hmm. cultural ambassador of the consulate and uh, really work on inviting, because they are doing, doing this already. There. There's a group in New York who's inviting a Dinagyam tribe to perform in New York. So... Uh, maybe next year we will partner with them so that when they travel to New York, they can just like uh, continue their travel to Chicago. Oh. That is, that's 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 in our um, in the near future. Maybe next year. Wow, sounds exciting. Right, we actually were there thinking of. Also, uh, there are also uh, some Dinag Young pageantries all over the U.S. Right. Yeah, just like or just Chicago and New York. Um, I know in New York they actually do invite the whole tribe. You know, oh, really. But that is facilitated by the um the tourism department of tourism, I think. So we just have to know. Um, actually, we have we have touch based with the um Ilo. Ilo uh, Governor or somebody, so they can we can probably work with them as to last year we were so close to doing it. Then not last year, but you know in twenty nineteen we were twenty twenty we can have the group already here. 
but then of course everything has to stop because of that. now we're like rebuilding again rebuilding we're starting from scratch again great okay okay Gemma please invite our viewing audience to come to this exciting event on Saturday or July 1st Yes, so on Saturday, July 1st, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., we would like to invite um, everyone to come and join us at the Drury Lane Theater. I know that it's a ticketed um, event, um, but you can call any one of the core organizers and find out how to get a ticket or how to get in. We welcome everyone. We have two banquet halls at Drury Lane. So uh, we have enough, enough room. We actually have room for a lot more people. Oh, will it be the banquet um, banquet room or the, uh, the theater itself? No, we're gonna be in the banquet room. Okay, nice. Yeah, because we're okay. gonna be- Thank okay, you. one last question before we sign off, Gemma. Mm -hmm. um, how are you able to do all these things in working with the community plus attending to your career and uh, plus, plus, plus? <laughs> well, you know, as, as they say, it's not, I mean, I cannot just do it alone. You know, I have a group of people who are working with me. Um, Trivia Longo is composed of individuals who have the same aspirations, the same uh, goal as um, myself, you know, and that is bringing the Longo culture and share it with the rest of the community um, outside in different parts of the world. And for us here, we're here in Chicago, um, but we're hoping like for this particular event, we have already reached out to the cultural, um, I think is the president of the Philippine Cultural Center in Indiana. So, you know, uh, we are kind of like touching base with our neighboring um, states and hopefully we can bring Dinig Young all over the, the U.S., you know. Great. Yep. Perfect. So yeah. it's, it's about, it's, I think, um, for me, it's because I am I have the passion for it. So I know it's some people might think that, oh, my God, it's so um, hard, you know. But if you love what you do, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You won't feel tired. I mean, people will think, I mean, just thinking of you doing all these things, they, they, they kind of get tired. But the person who's doing it, if you love doing what you do, it really is, you, you know, there's joy in doing it. You are right. You are right, Gemma. And I, uh, I really salute you and congratulate you for all your undertakings. And also, um, you know, we look forward uh, to Saturday. Uh, I'll be there to, yeah. to watch it. Okay. And, uh, we'll be reporting on the Via Times and CPR TV about it. All right. Thank, Thank you so you. much for gracing our show today. All right. You're welcome. And thank you again. Okay, Jim. Bye. All right. Bye. At, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. Ako po si Veronica. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas. Go to cookcountytreasure.com because you may have money coming back, either on missing exemptions or refunds going back 20 years. This short video will help to explain everything. Welcome to the office of Cook County Treasurer, Maria Pappas. As a taxpayer in Cook County, you can see if you are entitled to $85 million in available overpayment refunds from overpayments going back 20 years, and $37 million in possible missing exemptions going back four years. To find out if you are eligible for a refund, or to see if you qualify for an exemption, go to cookcountytreasurer.com. Click on the purple box to access your property tax overview. Search for your property by entering your property address. Also, do not enter north, south, east, or west. When you see your property listed, click View Your Property Tax Information. This takes you to your property tax overview screen, which provides a detailed breakdown of your property tax information, including payments and exemptions. You can scroll down or use the navigation in the left column to quickly access key information. 
Are there any overpayments on your pen? If a refund going back 20 years is available, click Apply Now to submit an electronic refund application. Approved refunds will be sent to applicants in four to six weeks. Have you received your tax exemptions in these tax years? This section details tax exemptions that reduce property taxes for eligible taxpayers. The grid shows a yes for exemptions that are applied and a no for exemptions that are not applied. If a prior missed exemption resulted in a C of E or certificate of error, text will indicate that below the grid. The homeowner exemption. Most homeowners are eligible for this exemption if they own and occupy the property as their principal place of residence. The Senior Citizen Exemption Senior homeowners are eligible for this exemption if they are 65 years of age or older as of January 1st for the year in question and own and occupy their property as their principal place of residence. The Senior Freeze Exemption Senior homeowners are eligible for this exemption if they meet the requirements for the Senior Citizen Exemption and have a total household annual income of $65,000 or less. This exemption provides significant savings by freezing the equalized assessed value of an eligible property. For each of the returning veteran, disabled person, or disabled veteran exemptions, go to cookcountytreasurer.com and find a detailed explanation by clicking the top menu button, Exemptions. If you meet the qualifications for an exemption, click the Apply for a Missing Exemption link. For more comprehensive information, listen to WVON 1690 AM Mondays at 1130 and call the hotline during the live broadcast. Go to St. Sabina Catholic Church Thursdays between 9 AM and 4 PM. Or if you are disabled or need further assistance, email us by going to cookcountytreasure.com and click Contact Us by Email at the bottom of the page. I'd like to welcome all of you to Baladna Jewelry. We have a very big selection of 21 karat gold jewelry imported from the Middle East, from Dubai, Saudi, and Bahrain. And we have a very big selection of diamond. We offer free financing for six months, and uh, we have a layaway system which you can leave your stuff for three months. We repair gold and we buy old gold. Welcome to Baladna Jewelry. Salamat Bo. Do you need to get your hands on some extra money right now? Maybe 25,000 or more? If you're a homeowner, now is a perfect time to get cash out while homes in many neighborhoods like yours have gone up in value. You can use the money for anything. It's yours. You can buy an investment property, pay for college, pay off higher interest debt, or make home improvements. A cash out refinance is the perfect solution to get the cash you need. If you need 25,000, 50,000, or even 100,000, now's the time. Home values are up and so is your equity. We offer you a way to use it. No need to sell your home or use your savings. Call New American Funding now and speak to a cash out refi specialist and see how much cash out you can get. Call New American Funding at 855-332. 3929. That's 855-332-3929. Call 855-332-3929. How would you like to get high-speed internet for your home for less than $2 a day? That's right. For about 50 bucks a month, you'll get lightning fast internet. Are you paying less than 50 bucks a month right now for your internet? Then call Whole Home Connect right now for blazing fast internet at 50 bucks a month with no price increases, no hidden fees, no contracts, no equipment fees. It's a great deal. And guess what? You can try it for 15 days. If you don't like it, you get your
your money back, but you're going to love it, and you're going to love the price. Internet for your home for 50 bucks a month. That's less than 2 bucks a day. Plus, no contracts, no equipment fees, and our 15-day guarantee. Call now. Call 800-555-1212. That's 800-555-1212. Again, 800-555-1212. Don't wait. Call us right now. Good afternoon. This is Bridget Karina Quetta bringing you this week's local news from our community. Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle issued a disaster proclamation for suburban Cook County in response to storms that hit the region on July 2nd. Several rounds of storms dumped nearly nine inches of rain in less than 24 hours in parts of the county, leading to severe flooding and other storm damage. Berwyn, Cicero, and Stickney were the hardest hit suburban Cook County municipalities. By signing this proclamation, the county is able to pursue all available resources to assist communities and residents in the recovery efforts. Said President Preckwinkle, My administration immediately took action to ensure that municipalities had the resources they needed to safeguard their communities. This proclamation is the latest step in the process to assist the recovery from the storm's impacts. The Illinois Student Assistance Commission is pleased to announce that the 13th Annual College Changes Everything CCE Conference, the state's preeminent college access and success and career readiness event, will be back in person on July 13, 2023 from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Tinley Park Convention Center. Sponsored by ISAC and statewide partners, this annual conference brings together diverse stakeholders from across the state to promote access to post-secondary education, help ensure degree or credential attainment, and support work to develop and promote effective career pathways to help Illinois reach its goal in 2025 to increase the proportion of adults in Illinois with high quality degrees and post-secondary credentials to 60%. During this year's conference, themed DEIA, The Work We Need to Do, equity designers from all over the state will collaborate in addressing diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility issues to help inform and support a system where DEIA is holistically ingrained within us and the work we do to support students and families. It's time to celebrate America's favorite holiday, National French Fry Day. The Idaho Potato Commission is the go-to resource for all things fries, so get ready for your crash course on best practices, tips and tricks, and the most irresistible recipes imaginable. To celebrate the much-anticipated date, IPC is sharing its secrets to the best homemade French fries and hosting a spudtacular French fry giveaway. Thomas Jefferson was the first person to bring french fries to America when he requested his potatoes to be fried in the French manner at the White House dinner in 1802. Fast forward 221 years, more than 4.5 billion pounds of french fries are consumed in America each year. That's roughly 13.5 pounds per person. Compared to the 75 million pounds of tater tots eaten annually, it's no wonder french fries need their own day to be celebrated nationwide. The Consumer Federation of America is releasing a new report, a survey, of real estate agents, industry and consumer impacts, which uses industry sources to document the costs to industry and to too many consumers and many residential real estate agents. More than 1.5 million residential agents, including brokers, compete for home sales, usually totaling five to six million annually. A large majority of practicing real estate agents have recently received their license or work part-time, said Stephen Brobeck, a senior fellow at CFA. These agents usually charge the same commission rates as experienced full-time agents yet in general offer worse service and deprive experienced agents of needed clients. In examining home sales in three cities, Jacksonville, Florida, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Albuquerque, New Mexico, the study found that marginal agents with five or fewer sales a year received an estimated 25 to 30% of commission income. 
Pope Francis announced that he would elevate 21 churchmen to the high rank of cardinal, again putting his mark on the group that will one day choose his successor after his death or resignation. The ceremony to install them, known as consistory, will be held on September 30th. The 86-year-old Francis announced during his noon prayer to pilgrims and tourists in St. Peter's Square. 18 of the churchmen are under 80 and will be able to enter an eventual conclave to choose the next pope. The other three, who are over 80, are too old to vote in a conclave, were named to thank them for their long service in the church. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our news this week. This is Bridget. See you next time. And that's our show for today. Thank you all for watching Chicago Philippine Reports TV. We hope you will stay safe and enjoying this day with your family and friends. I'm Maria Gurley Pascual. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay and we'll see you back here next week.